So hi guys, welcome back. Oh, actually in the right part of the world for a change. Uh, okay. Oh no, it's still in, still in Cal, uh, California. There we go. So, we are taking off from... Well, first of all, we're flying as a Boz, uh, which is the Virgin Australia call sign. Flight number 158. How professional with that Facebook going off in the background. And again, from Seattle to Sydney. Rather a long trip. Uh, expected time on route 16 hours. Sweet. Um, there we go. VVH, VPH is the aircraft for flying. I already prepared that part. Okay, it's a scheduled air service. Um, we're going to be taking near enough full fuel for this trip, which will be crazy. So we'll also be taking off from the 11th, which is tomorrow. And we'll be taking off at about 0600 local time. Which gives us, yeah, still a long trip. Anyway, uh, VH, VPH, payload, we'll just randomize that, that's the, randomize it, alright, oh, right. oh quick, quick find a route, 6,747 miles long, uh, okay, now for our alternates, alright, it's just gone crazy trying to find this route, okay, we'll go for Seattle first, and actually I reckon we can take uh, Schnumish, which is actually Everett, which is where this baby was built, where we'll be flying. So KPAE. Actually, no KPAE is our takeoff alternate. Uh, that's rather uneconomic to have that as your alternate in Australia. Australia, Australia, we love you, why man, why man? Sorry, that was a uh, Monty Python reference. Why, uh, we can take Wollongong. Nope. Canberra, okay, where's Wollongong? And actually, well, normally they, they would take uh, uh, Richmond, I think, as their alternate. Because orange is like, yeah, tiny. So go YSR, right? We only need one alternate because the forecast for Sydney, we'll actually have a look at it to see how many alternates we do need, uh, is for Cav OK, Cav OK, Light Showers, Cav OK. So pretty sorted on that front. So we've got the route sorted, we've got on route alternate, we'll sort that out with the ETOPS setup world map. Okay, we'll start over here. So our first ETOPS alternate will be for an ETOPS 180 scenario. Departing from KCAA as our first ETOPS alternate. Second one will be PHNL. Whoa. PHNL. That could be a problem. Third one will be KSFO, because I know that you can get like 180 rings touching each other. There we go. That gives us the overlap we need. We can actually get rid of CTAC and just bump everything along one. There we go, that over overlaps itself. Now we need a one for this area here. What's that airport there? Cassidy, we can try it. PLCH. Yep, that covers us. And now we're within 60 minutes of everything else on this trip. Um, we're going to need one over around this area. So what's this airfield? Bon, bon, bon Ricky on the Kerbati Islands. And again, that should be sufficient. So that one is... what's the... Alright, that. Hmm. Actually, we can just try and go with... Because we are quite close to Australia now. And then, yeah, I'm going to look for the larger airfield here. So, just out of interest, would this one work? Alright. Hasn't actually drawn a new top string for it. Oh, no, it has. So, the last e top ring we need to cover is going to be one just next to Australian airspace. So, we'll go with Brisbane, I think, or IBBN. Wow, that's... Okay, well, we're covered anyway. <laughs> um, ETOPS is green, yep. So, that's what our ETOPS routing looks like. I said I'd rather have more of these than less. Uh, just my general stance on things. ETOPS icing not predicted. I'm only crew for this trip. Uh, okay, we can export this route. I'll just do the export one there. Okay, fuel. 
synchronize that. We'll be in accordance, accordance with. Well, there's no nothing for Australian. We're Australian carrier, so as such, we'll be taking the IKO regulations. We're not going to be running AP for the whole trip. And uh, yeah, so we'll just compute this and see what happens. We're probably going to get it bounced back at us because we're taking too, like more than 100% fuel. There we go. Critical fuel output YVB and ignore. All right. What's our flight plan? Alright, flight plan fuel is for 132 tonnes of fuel on board. Trip time's 14 and a half hours. It's a crazy flight, this, guys. Uh, we'll look at these tomorrow. And that's just the flight plan. We'll stick, we'll stick that in the remarks area if you're doing this on VATSIM, which I'm really not going to do. I have not got that much spare time in my life right now. Um, anyway, I'm also going to quickly pop this up. And crossfade you. Well, actually, I'm going to crossfade because I'm a lazy person. Uh, name aviation. And we're just going to go look at the charts for SeaTac. Let me just have a look at this now, then we'll have a look. Uh, we'll we'll ha no for tomorrow. So it's within net built up area, so we've got a lot of spot heights which are unlit. Good to know. We've got high terrain, 44 nautic miles southeast of the aerodrome, and we've got as well as Boeing Field. We've got a number of uh, military and civil airports in the area. Again, good to know this. Uh, okay. The storms are rare, which is good. Reports are that the airport is open, which is also good. So it's got a weird system as SeaTac of three runways, one six right, centre and left. Uh, it was probably the first app I actually went to that had three runways. Anyway, so let's just have a look. Now again I'm not aware of actually which stand we'll be taking, but we can see that they're in a pretty sensible order. I think it's the Alpha stands which we'll be parked on. I think Alpha 3 I think is what I noticed, or what I was planning with. Uh, next, the General. Birds. That's standard. Aztex is in use, which is good to know. We will have to park, put, stick that in. Uh, speed restrictions is standard 250 knots below 10,000. And we we'll could look at this one. So, so Tango is not too mistaken with runway 16 Charlie. Um, okay, so we've got a. Sweet, we know that now. No spent procedures between 6 and. 6 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Hmm. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Got visual approaches. We're doing takeoffs, so that's fine. And that'll be departures, I suppose. Low visibility ops. We're not expecting that to be in effect. ATIS. Okay. Uh, aircraft air cars will normally receive PDC via data link to the onboard printer approximately 23 minutes before estimate time departure. If. Okay. During icing conditions, gate hold procedures will be used to control the number of flow of aircraft in order to meet hold over times. Sea keeper will coordinate by advising of de icing and ordering de icing equipment. As soon as we're not doing de icing anyway, Seattle Ocean departures are called when ready to tax. Alright, sweet. That's what, again, that's what we'd be doing if we were doing. Um, Okay. Uh, we're not doing landing minimas. Uh, which SID did the ac the PFPX task we we're going to be taking? Uh, oops. I will print this off, and I will. I promise I'll attach this one to the video. At least I hope, anyway. It's the Seattle four. All right, it's a pretty simple one. It's just a heading departure out. Um, let's just see if we've actually got this in the in here. I'll also be using uh, FS to crew tomorrow, hopefully, if it works. Which genius scanned these in op opposing directions? Okay, it looks like there's no departures plates for our. S uh, yeah, that's down to stars now. And that's approach plates, which we don't need to look at until tomorrow. Okay, folks, I'm going to uh, finish the video here. And we'll see you all in tomorrow morning. Bye bye.